Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing tips to increase curl definition and volume at the root. Because my hair doesn't naturally curl from the root, this is something that I've struggled with throughout my curly hair journey. And it's definitely something a lot of you struggle with too, because it's one of my most asked questions on Instagram. Through lots of trial and error, I've figured out some different techniques to increase the root volume and definition in my hair. So today I'm gonna to be sharing a side-by-side -side comparison. On one side, I'm gonna be sharing tips to increase root definition and volume. And on the other side, I'm gonna be sharing things that may limit your curl definition and volume. I saw my curl friend, Sophie Marie Curly do a similar video recently, and I thought it'd be really interesting to show on my long, wavy, curly hair. So yeah, let's go ahead. So I just wanna start this video by saying that not all hair curls from the root. My hair doesn't naturally curl from the root. It curls from the root here and my little side perm pieces and the front pieces are a little bit curlier, but most of my curls are in the lengths and the ends of my hair. And that is completely normal for my hair type. Some people's hair curl from the root, which will give you more root volume, but some people's it just doesn't. But the techniques that I use, the products that I use, and the amount of product that I use help give me the best volume and definition that I can personally achieve for my hair type at the root. I just think it's really important to be realistic about what is achievable for your hair type and curl pattern. So yeah, let's go ahead with the styling routine. Okay, so I have just washed my hair. First step of increasing root volume and definition because if your scalp isn't clean and free from build up, you're not gonna be able to get that root lift because it's gonna be weighed down with product. That's the only thing that I've done on both sides of my hair to sort of increase root volume and definition. I'm gonna be using the same products on both sides just to show you that the amount of product that you use can really make a difference. I'm applying my products to soaking wet hair. First, I'm gonna add some curl cream to the limit volume and definition side. So this is way too much curl cream for my hair, but I'm gonna go with it. Uh. Already that feels so producty, look. That is so much product. Let's make sure my hair is wet enough because it does dry out between styling. Now on this side I'm going to just apply a small amount of curl cream. Probably about this much for my whole head. When you mix it together in your hands you'll see how concentrated the product is and that you really don't need to use that much and then I'm just going to focus it on the parts of my hair that are most prone to knotting and the driest parts of my hair like the ends and the lengths and then I'm going to put the excess only on the roots. This might even be a bit too much for just one side of my hair, but we'll see. So now that I've applied my curl cream, I'm gonna go on to the styling part before I apply any hold product like gel. So on this side that I'm gonna limit volume on, I'm just gonna brush the hair down. And this is really just gonna kind of stick my roots to my scalp. There is so much product in my hair right now. Oh my gosh. And then I'm just gonna scrunch just the ends of my hair and I'm not really gonna focus on lifting the roots at all when I'm scrunching. That is so squelchy. Okay, now on this side, I'm gonna section my hair because that's gonna allow me to brush style in sections, increase the volume. So I'm just sectioning off the bottom section and clipping the top out the way. So now I'm gonna split this section here into two sections and I'm gonna brush style. And I'm gonna focus on lifting the roots up as I brush. And then I'm going to take a comb and I'm going to separate this curl clump to make smaller curl clumps because smaller clumps equal more volume. And then I'm going to do the same on the next section. And then I'm going to scrunch. And then I'm just gonna apply some gel to this section after brush styling to hold it in place, a small amount. And 
Now I'm just going to zoom through the final sections and I'm going to repeat what I've just done. I'm actually just going to clip this section to keep it separate. Now I'm going to remove some excess water with a curl towel and that's going to really prevent the water weight from weighing your hair down. If you find that that removes too much product you can obviously go in and add a bit more gel or instead of applying gel in sections throughout you could just apply your curl cream then brush style your hair and then apply your gel at the end after brush styling or you could apply the gel before brush styling if you're using a lightweight thinner consistency one like this then that can work as well. Now we've completely neglected this side while styling this side so let's give it a little bit of attention. So I'm going to apply some gel to this side. I'm going to apply too much all over and I'm going to apply it to drip in wet hair and because my hair's dried out while I was styling the other side I'm just going to add some more water to it. I mean, I must say, this side does have very good definition from all that curl cream, but it feels icky. That is so much. When I feel this side compared to this side, this side feels like it has like no product in it. It really can make a difference the amount of product you use in your hair. And now onto diffusing. I'm probably gonna end up using two different diffusers because there's so much product in this side, I just feel like it's gonna take forever to dry, especially as I'm not removing any water. This side, I'm gonna lift at the root and gently bring the diffuser up. And then I'm gonna turn the dryer on. And then on this side, I'm gonna hover diffuse for most of the way, and then I'm gonna do a bit of rough, sort of haphazard diffusing. Okay, I'm back. But this side is taking so long to dry that I'm just going to have to carry on with the video. I've been diffusing for about probably over an hour now to try and dry this side and it's still damp. It's almost there but yeah, you can really see a difference and this is bearing in mind that my hair doesn't curl from the root naturally, it's more of a looser curl pattern and I don't usually wear my hair in a centre parting and if I do, I don't style it in a centre parting because I find that that's something else that can actually limit the volume and definition. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea to do on my hair type but we live and we learn. You can obviously tell a difference between the side where I've tried to increase volume and definition up top and the side that I've tried to limit it. On this side of my hair, I've really kind of brushed everything down. I brushed my hair down. I weighed it down with a load of curl cream. It feels disgusting. It feels like I've got way too much product in my hair. It obviously has taken so much longer to dry. And on this side, I really focused on trying to add volume, create the look of more hair than I have. I lifted everything up, so when I applied my products, I brushed up. I used the comb to separate the clumps. I lifted my hair to scrunch it, I lifted my hair to diffuse it and that has really helped increase the volume and also increase the definition around my face framing pieces which I don't have on this side. My hair feels much bouncier on this side, it doesn't feel producty at all, it doesn't really feel like I have any product in it. It does have a little bit of grit in it though which should help to hold my curls in place but other than that they feel lightweight and bouncy. So obviously this video has shown that using less product and different types of techniques can really 
increase or limit the volume that you get at the root and actually throughout your hair. But something else that has really helped me is getting a tailored haircut that adds lift and shape, especially around my face because it is wavier on the top and side pieces and then curlier through the lengths. I really find that having a tailored curly haircut that takes my varying curl and wave patterns into account really helps my curls to spring up. I have face framing pieces which really helps my front pieces to spring up. I have a variety of layers throughout my hair which really helps my top layers bounce up and yeah all of my waves and curls are really just blended together nicely. Usually when I have my hair cut I have it cut in a center parting and then my stylist flips it either side and adds some more shape so I can flip my part and flipping your part and having face framing pieces is something that can really help fake a bit of volume and root definition. So because I have shorter face framing pieces when I do flip my hair to the side, obviously it really doesn't look good like this. It gives the illusion of more volume and more definition at the root. So that concludes the video. Me and my lopsided hair, probably going to have to rewash it inevitably because this is feeling gross. But yeah, I really hope that you found the video helpful. Thank you again to Sophie Marie Curley for the video idea. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!